I have always looked at the Jesuit philosophy of education as being a philosophy that's fundamentally rooted in the idea of human potential. It's really that concept that you're constantly striving to be more, to become more, to achieve, and not just for oneself, but also for the good of your community, uh, the good of the people around you. The fact that I connected with Gonzaga and was encouraged into the STEM programs. You know, I've lived in seven different countries. I've had jobs, research and development, to manufacturing, to marketing, to sales. I wouldn't have been able to do that without this background, so I'm very grateful. We are more than just our achievements. We are more than what we produce. Not just doing science for science's sake, but because it has a greater purpose. It's serving a higher purpose. It's about being curious and, you know, trying to understand the why behind things. It taught you how to think in a different fashion from the normal, really analytical, uh, engineering type thinking. And it helped shape me into being a strong contributor in my team, and it's the reason why my company is seeking out Gonzaga grads. I'll tell you what a graduate told me when I reflected with him. He said, when I came to Gonzaga, I learned about intellectual knowledge and experiential knowledge, and I didn't know the difference. Intellectual knowledge is what we give our students in the classrooms and the lab, the theory. The experiential knowledge is what he got from student activities and core, the university core. That's strong liberal arts education. It's also what we call cura personalis. So he said, we're the intellectual knowledge got him his first job. It was Cura Personalis that gave him the foundation for a long and successful career. I couldn't say it any better than that. So science, technology, engineering, and math, and sometimes art is also put into that category for STEAM, which I think is important as well, is in demand, right? The problems of tomorrow are being formulated today, and they're increasingly multidisciplinary in nature. You know, the partnership that Gonzaga has formed with UW School of Medicine I think it's phenomenal. Uh, I think it opens up a ton of potential for growth, for new knowledge. There's new opportunities in that world to be able to say, hey, we're giving these kids the best educational opportunity that we can. It was a pretty small program when I was here 20 years ago, and it's just incredible to see the growth and vitality of the program and the interest in it. I think Gonzaga's continuing push into STEM and into medicine is fulfilling a need in our society as a whole, but Gonzaga is putting out different kinds of medical professionals and STEM people that can think broader, think through a bigger lens, and ultimately, I think, have a bigger impact on society going forward. As the fields continue to develop and advance, it is much more commonly the case that you're seeing people who have to have expertise in multiple disciplines to effectively solve contemporary problems. So the concept of the Belir ISE is what I'm calling it, the Belir Center, is to actually look at ways in which the sciences and engineering and their related fields can become more integrated with one another at the undergraduate level. The designers of this building and the administration at Gonzaga took that to heart when they were designing the building to make sure that this is going to have space for students in all these different disciplines. Several of our chemistry labs, biology labs, environmental science labs, and psychology, and also a math learning center, but also quite a few open spaces, which we can think of as collision spaces or collaboration spaces. The way an engineer might say it, it reduces the activation energy for collaboration. I think what's gonna happen is there will be a student in one discipline meets another student from another discipline and, and this interaction otherwise would not have occurred. Those people will become friends and colleagues and those people will literally go on and change the world. It's not about gathering people, it's about gathering minds. I just see the Gonzaga alumni coming out and supporting and 
finding time or resources to invest in assisting our STEM majors and helping drive them forward because they know the benefit that these individuals as well as the greater communities will have as a result. To just see this thing coming out of the ground was a beacon of hope. The investment that the administration and the board kept in STEM is a testimony that STEM has a really clear role here at Gonzaga. Wouldn't it be a wonderful world if people based decisions on data and scientific facts and that there was a high level of integrity and professionalism? I think that foundation of putting a stake in the ground of what's right and wrong has served me very well. So having people come and say, hey, my path is I want to be a scientist or I want to go to medicine, and being able to come to a place and see that this institution really is there for that, it's a good time for us to think about how do we support that next group coming through. Look back on your life and look at the things that have been meaningful to you, and then try to facilitate those opportunities for others. That's generally going to yield a positive outcome. I can't tell you what's going to happen if you don't support, but I will tell you good things will happen if you do support the tag. We're trying to fix problems, and there's a lot of problems to work on, and yeah, the sky's the limit. A national stage, a worldwide stage, it's, yeah, a really exciting place to be right now. There's a lot of really important things that are happening and important work that needs to get done. And I'm really, really grateful for all those who have invested in making it possible. Look at this space. We did this together.